hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl josea so please if you have not subscribed don't forget to click on the subscription button below and also the notification bell so you get to be notified whenever we make updates so guys i have lots of gist for you today and it's basically going to be about omale and terms arrest in uganda so firstly guys i want you to see this video i want you to see this video take a look at this video a foreigner had a concert in this country and actually got <laughs> and filled up a concert where there was no social distancing, there were no masks and this idiot even posted it online and was very proud about the fact that he had a successful concert in Uganda. So guys, eh, if you take a deep look back at, as in a deep look at this video, you will you will notice that there is a great jealousy from what this lady is saying. You understand? This lady in question, her name is Cinda, uh, Cindy rather. Her name is Cindy Sanyu, Labastin Omale and uh, Singatem for hosting a successful concert in Uganda. It's obvious due to the COVID uh, guidelines, they've not been able to have some kind of show that fetches them money. So this is really paining them, like the Uganda singers, that why will uh, a foreign artist or a foreign musician come into their own town to have a successful concert? So this is all conspiracy. As a matter of fact, Nigerian musicians that started protesting on social media for the release of singer Omale and singer Tem. And this is going really well. If care is not taken, this might lead to a one on one protest until singer Omale and singer Tem is released. As a matter of fact, um, Tem, singer Tem actually has decided to go on hunger strike. She has been on hunger strike for the past 36 hours and she's still not ready to eat. Just to go ahead and what she said. So you're going to be there. Well, what if I wanted to die? Then you have no say. I don't want to eat. So no, I don't. No, I don't. Mean, no, Unless you're strapping me to a chair, forcing me, forcing food down my mouth. No, you're just trying to be there. It's up to you. I haven't eaten it. You have said it for hours. I don't know. For the next one. So guys, this is it. I think uh, if we have to go soft with these Uganda, Ugandans, they might not really take us lightly. I think we all have to take to our social media and do everything possible to get our singers free from their prison or whatsoever. Because as a matter of fact, Omale cannot spend seven years in prison. I think that was, was written there also, but it's seven or three years. It's not possible. He's a celebrity and this is all conspiracy. Because they, they've not done so much too bad, even though the, 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 the COVID-19 guidelines were broken or so. At least they should be able to temper just a little message. And I think, I really think this is whole conspiracy. So guys, please. If you have to go on your social media and tweet for the release with the hashtag free uh, singer term and the hashtag free or Malay to keep pushing to this gets to the Ugandans very well. Like they need to hear us really loud to free our musicians. I think we'll have to do that. So guys, let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to be there to reply you. So secondly, I'll be talking about um, a polytechnic rector polytechnic of Ede, um the, the rector has been you know suspended for fixing a king size bed in his office you looking at me i'm looking at you too because we i don't understand no no get that off your mind don't be naughty don't be naughty oh are you thinking what i'm thinking oh yes we are thinking same thing like what the heck what is he going to be using a king size bed in our office? Okay, let me not say anything. I think the suspicion serves him right because as a matter of fact, I wouldn't want to say this, but I just have to say it. Whatever you want to do to me, go ahead and do it to me. I don't know what's wrong with these people in power. Where you think because you're in power, you're a rector or a deputy rector, you're one leader of one particular organization or one department or the other. You think you can just do what you want. 
forgetting that everything officials has to be do official they have to they have protocols that are supposed to be duly observed like of all places not even a small mattress let's say you want to lay your head when you're tired a king size but that is more like a size of bed for you guys can see it on the screen for for a master's bedroom see trying to tell us that some students can relax there with him or no, no let me not think that maybe he's trying to relax guys i don't know what this is about anyways don't forget to leave your comment let me know what you think about this yeah let me know what you think about this video so guys that'll be the end of today's video thank you for watching thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your contribution and your support on my channel i love you guys so much don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at jose Arco, and also don't forget to share this video on all social media platforms i'll see you in my next video i love you so much bye bye <laughs>